A gibbet is an instrument used as part of a public execution. Gibbeting refers to the gallows type structure used in the execution. A dead or dying body would be hung on public display to deter other potential criminals from committing similar crimes. Gibbeting is used as the means of execution, essentially leaving the condemned person in a small cage with no means of escape to die from exposure to the elements, or from thirst and starvation. The Murder Act of 1752 permitted a judge's prerogative to sentence the guilty to gibbet in the case of murder, but it was also used for traitors, pirates, highwaymen and sheep stealers. The act required bodies of convicted murderers to be either publicly dissected or gibbeted. The gibbet was placed at crossroads of highways and waterways as a warning to others, who meant to break the law. It's also called hanging in chains. It was a rare notorious horrifying punishment, which gathered quite the crowd to witness the spectacle of a gibbet being erected. According to rebel circles, a blacksmith designed and constructed the gibbet to fit the size of the person. The gibbet cages were designed so the rotting body stayed together, holding the shape of the person. The person's chin and nose were usually strapped in place and their arms and legs were left to dangle in the air. If a person had dared to attempt to help a person in a gibbet, their efforts would be futile. The gibbets were held up on poles that were at a minimum 30 feet high. The gibbets were covered in sharp studs to keep people from attempting to touch them. Gibbets were not removed once the condemned finally became reduced to a skeleton. They were left up for years at a time they became landmarks, and a few even had streets named after them. There were many different designs and variations of the gibbet. Some kept the condemned in place by impaling the back of his head on a spike, but that was later stopped because it allowed for the condemned to die too quickly. Gibbeted bodies would sting so badly that nearby residents would have to shut their windows to keep the wind from carrying the body's stench into their homes. There are 16 gibbets remaining in England, the majority of which can be viewed in museums. The practice peaked in the 1740s. 134 men were placed in gibbet between 1752 and 1832. The last two men to be gibbeted in England were William Jobling and James Cook in 1832. Gibbeting was formally abolished in England in 1834.